I guess the question is, did Texas execute an innocent man? McCall came across the scanner. There was a, a house fire with possibly people trapped in it. I remember seeing the firefighters coming out of the front door of the home. The first fire, fire came out and he was cradling a small child uh, in his arms. He began to drop to one knee. And as he began to drop to one knee, uh, the little girl's arm just, just fell, fell limp right at her side, like a little rag doll. I went back to the fire room looking for the children. At that time, Chief Fogg was in there, and he had already located the children, but they were both dead. The fire department had made their initial uh, run through the house and started their investigation and started finding things that were questionable. And then they called me in. He couldn't wait to get back down there because he thought maybe they had found out who had set this fire, who had done this, and then that's when he was arrested. And I looked at the judge and the DA and the jurors, and I told them then, I said, I hope you will be able to live with the decision y'all have made for the rest of your life because y'all just messed up. And when I actually got the thing and looked at it, I said, whoa, he may not be a particularly nice guy, but this is really a railroad job. The thing that drives these cases is that initial fire investigation report and that fire investigator getting on the witness stand and saying, I know. I can tell because I've got 20 years experience in this. When he can't tell and he doesn't know and he doesn't have any evidence. I, I sleep very comfortably in the firm belief that the jury's uh, verdict, both as far as guilt and punishment, was uh, correct, and uh, I sleep even more comfortably knowing that Todd Willingham is no longer around to continue to abuse women and children and manipulate others. You know, I've been criticized by some because I've said that, of course, I thought he was guilty. Uh, how stupid would you be, how incompetent would you be as a defense attorney if you just went in and swallowed the story the defendant gave you? Yeah, I don't know that we'll ever know the real cause of that fire. What we do know is that it wasn't intentionally set. Um, and we, what we do know is that everything that the state relied on to prove that it was intentionally set uh, is basically just a bunch of junk science. I mean, it's old, nothing more than old wives' tales. Conning a jury is not proving guilt. And if innocent until proven guilty has any real meaning in our society, then on that basis, yes, Texas executed an innocent man.